Perioada în care lumea caută siguranță și un loc de muncă stabil, sunt persoane care îndrăznesc să-și dea demisia. Dacă unii vor să lucreze pentru ei, alții au convingerea că ideile lor, odată transformate în afacere, vor schimba lumea. Să devină antreprenor este visul aproape oricărui american, iar cei care aleg acest drum sunt susținuți și de guvern. Statele Unite ale Americii pun la dispoziția viitorilor antreprenori nu numai fonduri, ci și numeroase programe care îi ajută să-și transforme ideile în afaceri. Asta în condițiile în care chiar președintele Statelor Unite, Barack Obama, declara că aproape 75% din locurile de muncă sunt date de companii mici. O echipă B1 TV a fost în Statele Unite în încercarea de a afla secretele care duc la îndeplinirea visului american. Prima noastră oprire a fost în Austin, capitala statului Texas, la una dintre clădirile somptoase de birouri din centrul orașului. În spatele acestor geamuri se găsesc visuri, idealuri, multă muncă, dar și motivare. Tineri fără costum și cravată, în haine legere, cu laptopul în brațe și cu aceeași dorință, să schimbe lumea. Însă drumul de la postura de angajat la cea de antreprenor nu este unul simplu. So, uh, nowadays everybody is looking for a job. You help people quit their jobs. How is that? Well, you know, um, when I was growing up, I used to daydream about different things I could do. And I, for a while, I thought I wanted to be an EMT, uh, an ambulance, someone in an ambulance, I'm trying to, because I thought, wow, I could save people's lives every day. And uh, that didn't work out because I faint when I see blood. So I couldn't do that. Um, but I feel like the thing that I can do to help other people is to help give them the gift of entrepreneurship. And I was so lucky to discover that myself early in my career, and I felt like it was something that really gave me financial freedom and personal freedom uh, and a lot of other things that really improve my quality of life and I, and I think make it worth living. And so to me, that's how I can help other people is to help them quit their jobs and be able to work for themselves. Everybody's different, and some people like some kind of jobs and some people like other things. But for me, I can't imagine not being able to work for myself and, uh, and, and be able to influence and drive the things that I work on. In particular, I really like working in small companies because in big companies, there's a lot of bureaucracy and waste and kind of um, things that don't seem like they matter that have to happen. And the other thing I love about entrepreneurs is kind of by definition, they're all out trying to change the world in their own little way. They have to make the world work better or faster or cheaper or smarter or something to be able to make them compete with the big companies out there. And that's really exciting. It's really fun to be involved with people that are trying to all change the world. Dar să schimb lumea nu e deloc ușor. Trebuie ca antreprenorii să facă lucrurile mai repede, mai ieftin, mai eficient. Iar pentru asta au nevoie de cunoștințe, sfaturi și să ia contact cu afaceriști experimentați. We have 50,000 square feet where about 500 people people work representing about 200 different companies and in addition to that we have events every night of the week where people from the community come in to teach each other technical skills and topics and programming and work with each other and all of that creates this funnel to bring in and make sure that we meet every entrepreneur and every programmer in Austin and our goal really is to be able to find the best ones and invest in those And so the very best ones apply for our incubator program where they get matched up with mentors. And if they can get two of our mentors to both invest their own personal money in the company, then our fund matches the investment they made to double the amount of money that they got. Tot mentorii sunt cei care ajută pe tinerii antreprenori să și organizeze ideile astfel încât afacerea să fie una de succes. As we look at the startups that we work with, one of the things we try to first figure out is is this a lifestyle business that might only grow to a small size? Or is this really a scalable business that can get very large? And we try to focus on those scalable ones. In particular, technology companies are usually a really good fit for being a very scalable business because they don't take a lot of money to get started. And once you write some software or provide a service on the internet, it can scale very quickly into providing services for people all over the world. Uh, and that creates a lot of value. That creates a lot of jobs. That creates a lot of revenue and real profits and eventually lets you sell the company for a really a lot of money too. Arthur Greenstein is one of the people who have the courage to renounce their place of work and to become an entrepreneur. It's not hard to start a business. It's hard to start a successful business. And I worked in the, in the real estate industry and uh, straight from school, from college, I, I, uh, I actually, while I was in college, I got the entrepreneurial bug. I was uh, going to school to be an attorney, studying to be a lawyer. And uh, I had an internship at a commercial real estate company. And uh, 
caught the bug, the entrepreneurial bug, <laughs> and uh, I saw an opportunity there that didn't have a limit to what I can, uh, you know, potentially make as income, and, and uh, I really liked uh, the real estate field, and, and decided uh, I wasn't going to continue with uh, my uh, law school and decided to go into, into real estate. După ce a acumulat toate cunoștințele și informațiile de care a avut nevoie, a simțit că este capabil să conducă propria afacere. Acum, Arthur este un om fericit. So now I have my own uh, real estate company and uh, it's, a, it's a great business, it makes a lot of money and uh, now I'm trying to expand it across the country. We're in one city right now and we're trying to grow it so it becomes national. Well, having your own business is actually probably more stressful than, than, than working at a, at, a, at a job where you can, you know, clock in at nine and clock out at five. Uh, working at a business is a 24 hours a day operation and it's, uh, it's tough. However, the outcome is that you are your own boss, so that gives you some freedoms. La aceeași concluzie a ajuns și Katie. Pentru că momentele petrecute în familie lângă copii erau din ce în ce mai puține, a ales să-și dea demisia și să devină antreprenor. So I worked full time in the energy industry as an analyst and I was programming mostly. And uh, so did my husband, and um, th that's what we've been doing for a while. And uh, we had two boys at this point, and we just, we were really busy parents, and we struggled with our dinners on a daily basis, which is kind of where the story starts. We didn't really sit down and think, I want to be an entrepreneur. It happened more out of a necessity. So we were working full time, came home, I had no time to cook dinner. And once you have kids, you feel guilty about not having healthy food on the table. So what happened is that we tried to investigate, uh, see what solutions are out there. We couldn't really find anything that worked for us. So we created our own solution by building this service. And what we do, we basically, we provide affordable in-home cooking services for busy families. So that means our local chefs, they come to your home and they prepare weekly meals from scratch. It's super convenient, super affordable, and you don't really have to cook at the end of a long day. Was it hard to quit your jobs? Actually, it was a lot of fun because once you can work for yourself, you can make all the decisions, you decide how long you want to work. It was a lot more fun, so it was very easy. We loved it. Am coborât apoi spre granița cu Mexicul în orașul El Paso. Și aici tinerii antreprenori sunt asistați de personal de specialitate în centre modern echipate. Pe lângă sfaturi care să le aducă succesul, le sunt prezentate și riscurile pe care le pot întâlni. You give them advice to quit the job and be an entrepreneur. It's tough. Yeah, that is a tough decision, and you know it's it's great that you mentioned that because I was in I've been in that same position. It's very risky, so it takes a certain type of person to do it. But there are all types of resources to support you, so you just have to be very strategic and get the right type of talent to help you. Um, but it's it's not for everybody, so there, there's that. But the entrepreneurial spirit uh, across the United States is something that's just, it's for ambitious people that are very excited about changing the future. And it's, it's not easy, but the rewards are, they far outweigh just being a full-time employee in a large corporation. Where the future is, is startup companies. Startup companies are generating more jobs, they're generating more investment, and they're more nimble and agile. În Texas, guvernul local susține tinerii antreprenori nu doar prin acordarea de fonduri, ci și prin programe special dedicate celor care vor să-și deschidă o afacere. Iar totul este etapizat. Normally you have incubation models. Okay, so um, a company can go into an incubator and they get all types of different support services. You know, they get the business plan. And what they're supposed to do is help understand if this idea is this business idea will fail or if it will succeed. What an accelerator does is Um, they take an entrepreneur and they take a technology and they put it into a, a program that accelerates the timeline for that. And so that you can see um, basically this technology is going to be validated by the market. They'll do customer surveys, um, they'll look at marketing reports, and they'll do their business plan. And then they get an initial investment um, to start that program, to start their company. What we do is we vet deals, we look for new companies, um, we help them create the proposal and provide them support so they can go before the committee, the governor's committee, and propose what their, their company is. Then the, the state takes equity, um, provides them the initial investment, and we work with them to, see, to ensure that they succeed. 
So it's an exciting, it's really exciting for Texas. What we've invested most in has been life sciences and biotechnology, which is a large, of almost over half of what we've invested in has been in that area. We have people that have come to us just for basic knowledge of concept of how can I open a restaurant? Um, how can I open a bed and breakfast? To I have some what they call disruptive technology, something that will change the face of the nation. How can I get investment for it? Um, some entrepreneurs come and they just want to know how to start a company. And there are all kinds of different resources available um, within El Paso and across the state of the nation. They have um, what they call small business development centers. And those are centers that help you create a business plan, kind of help you formalize your concept and create a budget. În domeniul tehnologiei și al cercetării, în Statele Unite ale Americii există o strânsă legătură între mediul de afaceri și universități. In our office, what else we do outside of just uh, maintaining that state fund for the RCIC is we do what's called technology transfer. So we have some of the best and brightest faculty in the world here. Um, for example, we have a, cl um, a clinic that houses some great clinicians that have already patented all kinds of technologies, basically in life sciences, biotechnology, um, medical devices. We also have a, a new uh, graduate school of biomedical sciences that's working on the future cures for cancer, for Alzheimer's, for Parkinson's. And what we do is we, we protect that technology first. Iar atunci când ai o idee care poate revoluționa lumea, trebuie să o și protejezi. And so within our office we have um, intellectual property attorneys, we have what they call technology managers that have a lot of background on how the tech transfer process works. Um, we also have entrepreneurs, um, we have all kinds of programs that help accelerate this um, process because in, in our great nation what it's really about is who can get there faster a lot of times. So it just depends what type of entrepreneur you are, where you are in your um, level of experience, how much knowledge you have. Un alt mentor pentru antreprenorii din Texas este Katie Swain. Cu o carieră de succes pe Wall Street, Katie este astăzi un bun profesor pentru cei aflați la început de drum. One of the things that you need in order to nurture a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship is um, being willing to fail and start again. The theory of evolution is not that the fittest don't survive, the ones that are most able to adapt to change actually survive. So that's really what we're talking about in in to have that culture the notion and we suffer from some of that here that one strike and you're out oh he's a failure he's suddenly dubbed a failure you know never to be taken seriously again that does not encourage entrepreneurship it discourage it strangles it actually three things that if a business is with a, a, a startup needs what are the three elements that they need? Well, everybody knows they need capital and talent and a clear strategic plan. If you have the most money people bet on the jockey, not the horse. They bet on the management team, not the idea. So you can have an average idea and a first class management team and succeed better than a first class idea and a average management team. Apoi urmează partea cea mai grea, dar și cea mai frumoasă, drumul spre succes. There are all kinds of success factors that uh, determine the success of a startup. Um, but the biggest one, if you ask me, why do most companies that fail fail? It's not money. It's almost never money. It's usually the people factor. People can't get along or they don't know how to spend the money or they don't know they have a missing piece of talent, but mostly it's people not getting along. So what are the three things that contribute to making the company success? Three things that need to pay attention. Time, number one, time. Don't be too late, don't be too early. Pay attention to your customer. Put yourself inside the head of your customer. Don't, nobody cares how your thing does, what it does, nobody. They care what it does, what benefits. Don't talk about features, talk about benefits. Why do I want this thing? 
a lot of brilliant people end up stuck in their garages because they don't know how to sell anything. Um, you know, if, they, if you can't get in the head of the customer, you're dead. Pentru o afacere de succes, educația este vitală. Este una dintre devizele fundației Kaufman, una dintre cele mai importante organizații non-profit din Statele Unite. Cursurile puse la dispoziție de fundație vin în sprijinul celor care își doresc o carieră frumoasă într-o companie, dar și a celor care visează să ajungă antreprenori de succes. Fundația Kaufman a fost înființată de Ewing Marion Kaufman în anii 60 în Kansas City. Kaufman este printre cele mai mari fundații private din Statele Unite ale Americii, cu o bază de active de aproape 2 miliarde de dolari. Scopul este acela de a ajuta oamenii să capete independență economică printr-un nivel avansat de educație, iar tinerii să fie pregătiți astfel încât să aibă succes atât în perioada studiilor, cât și mai târziu, în viață. So the Kaufman Foundation is a charitable organization, a non-profit organization that supports activities in entrepreneurship and education. And how important is the education to become an entrepreneur? So here at the foundation, we believe very strongly that education can make a big difference in not only the um, strength of conviction that an entrepreneur has, uh, but that education can also improve their likelihood of success and make them less likely to make big mistakes that could cost them their company. Fundația pune la dispoziție o gamă largă de cursuri sau programe destinate începătorilor, dar și celor cu experiență în antreprenoriat. Toate se ghidează după principiile cheie promovate de fondatorul Ewing Marion Kaufman. În primul rând, identificarea oportunităților, ideilor și a capitalului care poate aduce beneficii societății în mod semnificativ. Însă foarte importantă este educația prin derularea de programe inovative bazate pe cercetare, care să conducă la soluții practice și sustenabile, care să fie ușor de acceptat și de implementat. De asemenea, sunt încurajate parteneriatele care să susțină resursele și capacitățile, dar care să nu ducă la dependență. What support are you providing for those who come to So the foundation does a combination of things. We provide grants, we give money to organizations around the country that are supporting entrepreneurs, as well as uh, providing local support for entrepreneurs. And we operate a number of programs, um, educational programs in entrepreneurship that bring some people to, to the foundation. Um, we focus at, um, We focus on several stages of an entrepreneur's development. We support founders in thinking about whether they have a good idea. And we support companies in launching and growing their ventures through an online education program we have called Kaufman Founder School. And we also support founders who have reached the wealth stage of their companies in thinking about how they might give back, like our founder, Mr. Kaufman, did in giving money to the foundation, or investing in founders who are up and up and coming and developing new ideas. Iar dacă unii ajung să aibă o carieră de succes în cadrul unei companii, alții îndrăznesc să și urmeze visul și să devină chiar ei antreprenori. În primul rând pentru a dobândi o independență economică, dar și pentru a oferi societății locuri de muncă și prosperitate. Drumul spre succes nu este însă unul ușor. What does a person need to be a successful entrepreneur? I think to be a successful entrepreneur requires some courage, um, the sense that you have an idea that might make a difference in the world. And then it requires some skills and disciplines that include being knowledgeable about your industry area, understanding how to sell your product, understanding how to present yourself well. One of the biggest mistakes that, that you can make is not ensuring that you have what, what some call product market fit. That is, that you don't have, you make the mistake of thinking that you've got something that's fantastic in the marketplace without taking the time to do the research, to understand your customer, and ensure that there really is a market uh, for your product. We also see uh, founders uh, fall down um, for reasons related to people. That is, they don't have the right founding team or they found with a family member or a close friend without understanding that there might be pitfalls. Programele Fundației Kaufman pot fi accesate cu ușurință și de români. We have a program called Fast Track that has um, offers classes in that offers classes in Romania 
Um, and we're also actively engaged in supporting a global initiative called Global Entrepreneurship Week. And every year, um, 140 countries participate in Global Entrepreneurship Week and local organizers uh, create events and activities um, in their countries. And we're really pleased to see entrepreneurship taking taking off in this way around the world um, and um, encourage uh, Romanians to look for opportunities to engage um, with that program as well. So I think one of the things that a, that a, a, a country or a culture can do to encourage um, the development of, of great high growth companies is to invest in the education of its people, um, encourage people to think creatively and innovatively, um, and foster an environment where trying something big and failing at it um, is okay and developing opportunities for people to learn from their mistakes and try again. So I think entrepreneurship everywhere um, has some, some similarities with entrepreneurship in the United States. An entrepreneur is a passionate individual who believes in their idea and the prospect of, of bringing it to market and so I think in a lot of ways entrepreneurs are the same everywhere. Um, one of the advantages that we have in the United States is that we have a culture and an environment that's extremely tolerant of entrepreneurs, the risks they take and the chance that they might fail. Creating your own company is one of the great dreams that perhaps many, many Americans